How can you program your subconscious mind to attract wealth? What kind of things should you be doing right now today so you can have a mindset for attracting wealth? One of the first things is to get super comfortable with the idea of wealth. How do you even do that? Well, I would say immediately create a vision board or a vision book or a vision folder and put on it images of all the things that you would love to attract. What you focus on, your mind moves towards. When you focus on, I can't afford it, I can't have it, where's the money coming from? You're focusing on lack. And when you say, I will have that, you're focusing on abundance. So let's imagine you want a brand new laptop, a brand new phone, and you go, I don't have the money, I can't get it. You need to say things like, I am having that, that has my name all over, I will have that. It may take me three months to have it, I may need to put the money away or get a credit card, but I am having that phone, not even I will, because the subconscious mind only lives in the present tense, I am. So do not use the language of lack, I can't find the money, I can't afford it, I don't know where the money's coming from, I'm having it, I will have it, it's got my name on it, that will be mine. Use your imagination, imagine being on that laptop, being on that phone, driving that car. Use all the senses, the smell of the leather, the feel of the steering wheel, the sound of the engine. If it's a car, get super familiar because as you move towards something, it will move towards you. So step one and two are use your imagination to imagine it, use a vision board, a vision book, imagine, feel, smell, taste, sense, but at the same time, do not use that negative language of I can't find the money because nobody finds money after all. We acquire a skill and we learn to monetize it. Point three is to get familiar with money. You see, your mind likes what is familiar and it does not like what is unfamiliar, which is why 70% of lottery winners are utterly broke in just three years because they're not used to money. They're used to something unusual or well, actually for many usual, I get my paycheck, I pay for the bills, the food, the insurance, and then it's all gone. So when they get a lot of money, they just spend it until it's all gone. And what's a great thing to do is to photocopy lots and lots of dollar bills or euros or sterling, whatever currency you're in, and actually print that out and cut that into the size of dollar bills and put it all over the house. Stuff your wallet with lots and lots of dollar bills that look real, they're made of paper, who cares? Put it in the drawers in your kitchen, put it all over, put it in your pillow, put it in your underwear drawer so that every time you open a drawer, if you open a closet, there's open your bathroom cabinet there's more and more and more money why should you do that because you're getting familiar with having money all over the house when i was in zimbabwe i bought back 100 trillion dollar bills and i had them all over my house a hundred trillion dollars i gave some to my godchildren they loved that so think of how you could have money whatever you could have bed sheets that had dollar bills printed on pillowcases shower curtains it's really up to you to get familiar with having images of money all over your house, but having drawers stuffed with cash. Even though you went to the printers and printed that and cut it into the right size, it doesn't matter. What matters is you are making your mind familiar with lots and lots of money. And whatever is familiar, we move towards. Whatever is unfamiliar, we move away from. So think of ways that you can make it familiar. And imagine having silk sheets when you're delicious food, beautiful car on the driveway, keep making those images familiar. Point four is to talk about wealth and abundance with everybody. Talk to people. Be around people that have wealth and notice how comfortable they are and become the same. Start to imagine and, and do not get the thing, but oh, I don't want to talk about them. How much did that cost? Oh, well, people, they talk out the side of their mouth. Oh, it's, or they don't want to tell you how much it is to work with them. How much is it to have a session with you? $200. You have to get really comfortable stating it. And don't use the word cost to invest in me. The price, the cost of this investment is rather than the money. But until you can get super comfortable saying, this is the cost, this is the price, this is the investment, this is the number, the minute you feel uneasy, your clients will pick that up to get super comfortable. And by the way, if you happen to be in the business, whether you're coaching or therapist or doing something that's helping people, anything we buy without question is because of how it makes us feel. If you have a product that's lessening your client's pain point, that's making them feel better, you already are in a position of advantage because everything we buy 
Even when we're paying our gas bill, I feel better, I paid the bill, I paid my taxes, I feel better. But if you can create a product that makes people feel good, feel better about themselves, it's easier for you to sell it. Selling is not a dirty word. Talking about money is not a dirty word. But you've got to overcome these blocks and get really comfortable with your family, with your friends, practice talking about money. My dad used to say, you see that person, they know the price of everything, they know the value of nothing. But be the opposite of that. Look at tremendous value. How can you give value? Where are you giving value? People say it was the best money I ever spent. It was worth every penny. Get into that mindset. Do not shy away from discussing money. Do not see it as a dirty word. Do not ever use like filthy rich or fat cat or rich bitch or those rich people don't know they're born. You've got to be in the company where you're so at ease talking about money, thinking about money. And by the way, money is not the root of all evil. The Bible says a pursuit of money at the expense of everything else is the root of all evil. Money can be good. You can do beautiful things with money. The more money you have, the more good you can do. But that will never happen until you get away from the, oh, I don't want to talk about money. Don't tell anyone how much it costs. It's vulgar to discuss money. No, it really isn't, not at all. And you might think, hey, Marissa, I'm watching a lot of videos with you talking about money, but that's because I want you to be comfortable. The more you watch them, the more things you pick up, the more you move away from that poverty mindset, the better it is. And it doesn't matter where you've come from. It only matters where you are going. And here's point five. And you may think, well, that's going to contradict point four, but it isn't. Use other words. Talk about wealth. Talk about riches. Talk about abundance. I was a single parent. My daughter would say, mommy, do we have money? I go, oh, darling, we are so wealthy. We have so much because we did. It's all relative. We had a home. We had a fire. We had beds. We had heating. We had food. And having been in Zimbabwe and been in some really poor parts of the world, I always felt like a millionaire. I said, like, wow. I feel so wealthy. I took my daughter one year to feed homeless people in London at Christmas. We came home, opened my door, looked at my phone, and thought, wow, I just feel like a billionaire because look what I've got. You see, you want to be an expansion, not contract. You go, look what I've got. Look how far I've come. I've got this and this and this, and I can have more because I'm expanding towards wealth. Don't contract. Expanding is saying, I got a home, I got a car, I got a mortgage, I've got a credit card. I can put food on the table. I'm expanding. Contracting is, don't know how I'm going to pay that mortgage. I can't afford to go out to dinner this week. I'm, I'm wondering, I'm looking at all the reduced stuff, going, oh, that's cheaper. I better get that. I need to get everything in the sale. I need to get everything secondhand. There's nothing wrong with that. But you want to expand and not contract. And how you do it when you feel you don't have money is to talk about wealth. I am wealthy. I am abundant. I am absolutely rich. The day my baby was born, Kevin been told I could never have a baby ever. I felt like the richest woman on the planet because I had this beautiful thing that I had made and that was priceless. And some of the things we create and do are indeed priceless. And so you can feel wealthy, you can feel rich, you can feel so rich, so blessed, so abundant without ever having to use the actual word money. So please move away from that. If you feel not yet comfortable discussing money, say I'm wealthy, I've got a wealthy mindset, I'm surrounded by wealth, I am wealthy, I'm an abundant person. I attract abundance, abundance is coming to me. I have more and more abundance and I am rich. I'm a rich person, I'm having a rich life. You see, the mind doesn't really question it any more than it questions. I'm flat broke, I'm dead broke, I'm stony broke, I'm as poor as a church mouse, I've got nothing. The mind doesn't question that either. Your mind doesn't care about what you tell it. It cares about one thing, how can I make what you're saying real? Your mind's job is to make your words real. Every word you say is actually a blueprint that your mind, body, and psyche are working all the time to make real. You have to make a better blueprint. The vision board, the drawers stuffed with money, getting comfortable talking about money, and using the words abundance, wealth, and riches are all moving you where you want to go. So take this advice, put it into action. I promise you, it absolutely works. Check out my next video here.